This is the most powerful mob in Minecraft right now. And this mob is not real. This mob was actually made in a lab. Right here. In this lab. With command blocks. The interesting is, I wanted to figure out how how strong this mob was. I didn't compare it to the egg. I didn't compare it to the iron golem. So what I did, I got a bunch of eggs. Around six of them. Seven of them, actually. And I'm going to test them to see just how fast they die. Or maybe the mob will die. Then I'll reveal the secret of the mob later on in the video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Um, I need this, please. He killed the drown way too fast, so I had to turn it to nighttime because, bro, it was just unfair because he had the help of the sun, which makes sense. So, we're just gonna test it again. <laughs> oh my god. You know, what's interesting that all these mobs died in three hits. All of them. Like, it's pathetic. And at one point, I was feeding him, and because he got hit so many times, and I didn't want to lose his trust, I didn't want him to turn on me and kill me, so I had to feed him, and I accidentally hit him. But I think it's all good now. So we have one last mob to test, which is actually the Shulker mob. So we're just gonna put this down, and we're gonna hit him, and let's see what happened. One... Oh my god, he on X Games mode. Oh, that's interesting. He won't be able to hit him. I don't think the he can die though. He's not actually unable to die. He's made to be immortal. So he's actually gonna be up there forever. Forever how long the shulker lives. Or if this okay, I'm just gonna have to put him down. I'm gonna have to beat him with my meat. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. What follows is a brief construction montage. His final dying attack. So pathetic. I remember how I said with all these sustaining damages that he has taken, I have to feed him because you want him to keep your trust and your love and you want him to keep fighting. He has one last test though. And this one's a very interesting one. He has the warden to fight. Yeah. If he can beat the warden, well, I'm pretty sure he can beat the game. One last egg out, ladies and gentlemen. One last egg. And it's the warden. Oh my god. He just killed him with one hit. It, what is this? This creature is even more deadlier than I thought he was. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, I, I, oh my god. <laughs> Finally! Bro, I've been behind this guy. Well. Oh. That sounds very weird. I've I've been hitting this guy from the back. Okay, that sounds even weird. I gotta stop. Like, um, I've been hitting this. <laughs> okay, I I was fighting him. I was hitting him with the sword for like two minutes now, and this guy wouldn't have died, bro. The ward is literally unbeatable. But anyways, how did I do this? You see, the secret to this is I actually use. Four items. I use an anvil, a wolf, a name tag, and a bone. And obviously the command blocks. Um, don't forget those. So why I did I laid out four command blocks, and you have to stand in each other, crouch, and jump, and place each command block when you're placing. And the first command, which is number one, which is oh yeah, stuff always active. And number two, which is yeah, chain always active as usual, true. And number three, effect alt and oh it's active and number four yeah pretty much the same uh yeah that was that's what's all i did so what i had to do now i had to, okay a lot of atoms in my stuff let me clear it out real quick okay so you get the wolf so you get the wolf you spawn the wolf right then you rename the wolf to fire guard that's initially what you rename the name tag to then you have to tame this wolf well you can tame it first but it doesn't really matter and then you have the most powerful mob that is well second most powerful mob people second most powerful mob that you all ever seen right in your fingertip um yeah thank you for watching this video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace